welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana विश्वेश सच्चिदानंद वंदेह योखिल जगत चरीकर्ति बरी भर्ति संजरीहर्ति लीलया विश्वेश सच्चिदानंद वंदेह योखिल जगत चरीकर्ति बरी भर्ति संजरीहर्ति लीलया we have been studying the process of compounding and the rules of compounding in paninian grammar as the study of the background we have studied the most important aspects of the theory of compounding as described in paninian grammar we studied the important aspects of the samartha theory proposed in the paninian grammar and explained in the paninian grammatical tradition notably in the samarthanhika of the vyakarana mahabhashya of patanjali composed around 150 bce and also explain further in the process of commenting on this particular samarthanika by several great commentators including bhartruhari who composed a commentary called deepika on the mahabhashya where there is no direct reference to this process but there is quite a lot of philosophical explanation of the samasa and the samasartha in his vakya padiya and then of course we have the great commentators like the kayata and nagesha who explained these processes discussed in samarthanika in detail in a nutshell patanjali has explained the word samartha in four ways samprekshitarth and sambaddhartha as well as sangatarth and samsrushtartha patanjali has also used two key key concepts namely vyapeksha and ekarthi bhava vyapeksha referring to the interrelatedness of the padas and to the vyapeksha apply the first two explanations of the word samartha namely samprekshitartha and sambaddhartha whereas ekarthi bhava is the kind of samarthya that is the resultant compound output and its nature which is one unit and this is explained by the other two explanations of the word samartha namely sangatartha and samsrushtartha samartha we also said that this theory is based on the karaka theory we also studied the concept of nitya samasa and also the vaikalpika samasa or 
anitya samasa in this process we also looked at the vigraha which is of two types laukika vigraha which in case of vaikalpika samasas also conveys the meaning that is conveyed by the samasa which is what is the other meaning of the word samartha namely samaha arthaha we also studied the laukika vigraha as well as the alaukika vigraha alaukika vigraha places the elements in the laukika vigraha in the technical paninian terminology and then we studied in brief the different stages of the derivation of a compound as stated in paninian grammar we have also also studied the process of purva pada nirdharana and before that the semantic conditioning at the cognitive stage after purva pada nirdharana we studied the samasanta pratyaya and also the sub look let us proceed further and study some more rules related to some other processes of the derivation of compounding stated in paninian grammar in this particular lecture so in this lecture let us study the purva pad karya the purva pad karya is the operation done on the purva pad this purva pad karya applies to all the four types of samasas in sanskrit in this course however we shall focus on the purva pad karya that happens in the avyayi bhava samasa as well as bahubrihi samasa as well as dvandva samasa the initial member of the compound is termed as purva pad this we have already studied and we have already also studied that the final member of the compound is termed as uttara pad now in the environment of uttara pad certain modifications take place in the purva pad and we have stated that all such operations are stated in 6.3 of ashtadhyayi which is governed by the adhikara uttara pade indicating that there is a right hand side environment of the uttara pade in which the purva pade undergoes certain modifications now these modifications are related to for example the non deletion of sup as exception as a by default principle or by default rule the sups which are part of the pratipadika get deleted but there are exceptions in which such sups do not get deleted so if the deletion of the sups in samasa is called sub look or just look the non deletion of sub is called a sub look or more popularly a look this is an important operation related to the purva pad stated in 6.3 in the environment of uttara pad following the other modifications the other operations are for example the gender changing as well as the modification in the morphological form and also the modification in the phonological part of the purva pad so these are the operations which are called purva pad karya the karyas related to the purva pad 
the operations that happen on Purvapada obviously in the environment of the Uttarapada immediately following. These are some of the Purvapada Karyas and here we shall deal with some of them with the examples of Avyayi Bhava, Bahuvrihi and Dvandva Samasa which are the focus of this particular course. The Purvapada Karyas are stated in 6.3 of Ashtadhyayi as we said before. This entire section is governed by the Adhikara Uttarapade. Uttarapade is the Saptami Vibhakti of Uttarapada and in the meta language of Paninian grammar, Saptami Vibhakti generally refers to immediately before and therefore the meaning of the word Uttarapade is immediately before the Uttarapada. Assuming obviously that immediately before the Uttarapada exists a Purvapada. So a Purvapada precedes an Uttarapada. This Adhikara Uttarapade also assumes that the process of compounding happens in between two Padas at a given time. That is why Uttarapade Purvapadasya Karyam. This is what is assumed in this particular section. As we discussed, Aluk is an important Purvapada Karya, important operation happening on the Purvapada. This is stated in 6.3.1 onwards up to 6.3.24. Aluk means non deletion of sup in the Purvapada. Remember, we have already studied the concept of subluk and the rule stating this particular operation where subs which are part of the pratipadika in the form of a samasa whose necessary condition is two subs stated also in the Paninian grammar by the sutra sahasupa this we have already studied so these subs, both of them, one which exists in the Purvapada and the one which exists un, in the Uttarapada, they both get deleted by the Sutra Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho. But now, as an exception to this particular general operation, the Sutras in this particular section 6.3.1 up to 24, they talk about, they describe the non deletion of sup in the Purvapada, whereas the look or a look in the Uttarapada is never stated. The sup in the Uttarapada is always deleted. This is an important fact to be remembered. But the general fact is that both the soups are deleted but in some exceptions the soup in the Purvapada is not deleted. However, this non-deletion or popularly known as Aluk is stated in the environment of Uttarapada following. This operation acts as exception to the by default process of deletion of sup in the samasa. This is not a separate type of compound. Some people might consider a look samasa as a separate type of compound. But if we look at the constituents of a look, it becomes clear that it is not a separate type of compound but it is rather an exception 
to the by default process of deletion of sub stated by Panini in 2.4.71 by the Sutra Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho. Let us take an example of a look happening in a Bahuvrihi Samasa where the sutra is Amurdha Mastakat Swangat Akame. Amurdha Mastakat Swangat Akame. This is 6.3.12. This says that immediately before an Uttarapada, which is not Kama, Saptami is not deleted when the Purvapada is a body part except Murdhan and Mastaka. So, Amurdha Mastakat Swangat, both these words are in the Panchami Vibhakti. Akame is in Saptami Vibhakti. Akame corresponds with Uttarapade. Amurdha Mastakat Swangat refers to the Pratipadika which are followed by the sup in the Purvapada in the environment of the Uttarapada stated to be Akama in this particular Sutra. So the sup in the Purvapada which is added after the Pratipadikas termed as Swanga with the exception of Murdhan and Mastaka when the Uttarapada is not Kama then the sup in the Purvapada is not deleted. That is the meaning of this particular sutra. And we repeat, immediately before an Uttarapada, which is not Kama, Saptami is not deleted. The word Saptami continues from the previous sutra, in this particular sutra. So Saptami is not deleted. The word aluk also continues from 631 aluk uttarapade. When the purvapada is a body part, except of course murdhan and mastaka. So now the example is kanthe kalaha yasya saha. Kanthe kalaha yasya saha. Now, in this case, this is a Bahuvrihi Samasa and Kanthe and Kalaha, these are the words which become part of the Alaukika Vigraha. So the Alaukika Vigraha is Kantha plus Ni plus Kala plus Su. And then of course, Sopodhatu Pratipadika Yoho would generally apply and would delete both ni as well as su and so we'll get kanthakala but the sutra 6312 intervenes and says that since kantha is what is termed as swanga the body part and it is neither murdhan nor mastaka and the uttarapada is kala and not Kama, therefore this Saptami, which is Ni, in Kantha plus Ni, is not deleted by Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho. And therefore we don't delete Ni, we retain it and we get the finally derived compound output in the form of Kanthe Kala. Kanthe Kala means Kanthe Kalaha Yasya Saha. The Purva Pada does not lose its sup. The Purva Pada retains its sup. This is an extremely important Purva Pada Karya. As explained in this particular Bahuvrihi Samasa. This is an adjective, this is a qualification of for example, Lord Shiva, who 
holds the poison in his own throat kanthe kalaha yasya saha as he is also called nilakantha after having studied the aluk as one of the purva pada operations let us now study some substitutions stated in the purva pada one of the important substitutions stated in the purva pada is that of anang which is stated in 6325 now in this particular sutra aluk does not continue from 631 but uttara pada definitely continues so we have the sutra anang ruto dvandve 6325 which means immediately before an uttara pada in a dvandva compound denoting the relation based on learning as well as race ru at the end of the purva pada is substituted by anang repeat immediately before an uttara pada in a dvandva compound denoting the relation based on learning as well as race a ru at the end of the purva pada is substituted by anang now in anang an is the element that is to be seen or that is to be heard added to the purva pada and ang is an element which is just a marker in the pratyaya so if we have the laukika vigraha mata cha pita cha mother and father together the alaukika vigraha would be matru plus su plus pitru plus su and then we apply 2471 supodhatu pratipadika yoho which then deletes the su pratyayas and so we have matru plus 0 plus pitru plus 0 and then we have matru which is a purva pada has got ru at the end and this ru gets substituted by anang so we have mat anang plus pitru now in anang as we have noted ang is the part for the sake of pronunciation and for some meta linguistic purpose the real modification is an so we have mat an plus pitru then this final na also gets deleted and finally we have mata plus pitru and when we join them together we get the compound output in the form of mata pitru this is how anang is added in the dvandva samasa to the purva pada that ends in ru this is another very important purva pada karya that happens in the dvandva compound the third purva pada karya that we discuss over here is that of pumvad bhav this is also extremely important purva pada karya pumvad bhav what this means is that the feminine form of the purva pada is substituted by the non feminine root form of that pratipadika i repeat the feminine form of the purva pada is substituted by the non feminine root form of that particular pratipadika this operation takes place in the environment of the uttara pada following immediately as this is also covered by the adhikara uttara pada this operation takes place only on purva pada and never on uttara pada this must be remembered and that is the reason why it is listed as purva pada karya
This Umbad Bhava is stated by the following sutra. Striyak Pumat Bhashita Pumskadanum Samanadhikarane Striyam Apurani Priyadishu. I repeat, Striyak Pumat Bhashita Pumskadanum Samanadhikarane Striyam Apurani Priyadishu. This is 6.3.34 and this Pumat Bhava is stated from this particular sutra up to Pumbat Karmadharaya Jatiya Deshiya Yoho 6.3.42. In the first course, we studied this particular operation with respect to the Karmadharaya Samasa. In this particular course, when we study the Bahuvrihi Samasa, we shall get this operation constantly revisited. Now, specific technical semantic as well as formal environments play role in this operation. So now, let us take an example of a Bahuvrihi Samasa. The meaning to be conveyed over here is one whose grasping intellect is stable. Sthira buddhihi yasya saha. One whose grasping intellect is stable. So now we have sthira and buddhi which are part of the bahurihi samasa. So the alaukika vigraha would be sthira plus su plus buddhi plus su. We note that the word sthira is formed by adding the feminine suffix a to the root word sthira. And now, after dropping the sups by the sutra supodhatu pratipadika yoho, we now have sthira plus buddhi. Now the conditioning stated in the sutra sthriya pumvata Bhashita Pumska Danung Samanadhikarane Striyam Apurani Priyadishu when all the conditions stated in this sutra are fulfilled in this particular stage of the derivation and therefore now sthira will be substituted by sthira which is the root pratipadika form and the gender suffix a in sthira is removed. And so we get the form of the Bahuvrihi Samasa, namely Sthira Buddhi. Sthira Buddhi Yasya Saha is the Laukika Vigraha from which the compound output derived is Sthira Buddhi. This is the example of Pumvad Bhava. More of this operation would be explained in detail when we deal with the Pahuvrihi Samasa, with delineation of specific environments together with exceptions and also obviously some more examples. Now let us look at another important Purvapada Karya, namely the morphological modification. The one example that we deal with over here is sah getting substituted by s. This is stated by the sutra Avyayi Bhave Chakale 6.3.81 of the Ashtadhyayi. What this means is that in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, when the Uttarapada does not denote time, the Purvapada sah is substituted by S. What this assumes is that S is the Purvapada and it is to be substituted by S in these environments mentioned in the Sutra. That it has to be an Avyaibhava Samasa and the Uttarapada should not be Kala or Kala Vachaka. So now, when we have the meaning 
at the same time with the wheel saha chakram we have the alaukika vigraha saha plus su chakra plus am and then supo dhatu pratipadika yoga applies and we have saha plus zero plus chakra plus zero and then saha gets substituted by sa because of the sutra 6387 avyayi bhave chakale and then we get the finally derived output in the form of sa chakra saha chakram dehi is the input and sa chakram dehi is the output so sa chakra is the compound output derived from saha chakram this is an important morphological modification happening on the purva pad similarly another example here over here is the sutra vopasarjanasya this is also a similar kind of morphological operation this is stated by the sutra 6382 the meaning of this sutra is that in a bahuvrihi compound the purva pad sah is substituted by s optionally so we have sah putrena yathasya tatha this is the example of sah bahuvrihi sah putrena yathasya tatha and this sah over here is substituted optionally by s so we have both the forms sah putra as well as saputra derived as the final compound outputs this is also an example of the morphological modification happening on the purva pad to summarize the operations which affect the purva pad shape the final form of the final output of the compound these operations always take place in the environment of the uttara pad immediately following they are completely internal and in many cases purva padas with or without these operations resemble the vocative singular form of the pratipadikas these are the texts referred to thank you very much